This is your host, the Apostle Reuben of IUPR Bible Radio with another short lesson. Brothers and sisters, we read. We guarantee you, if you get used to reading the Bible by precepts, you will understand it. Let me give you another example. The book of Psalms, chapter 112 and 1. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord that delighteth greatly in his commandments. I want y'all to see this. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. So to fear God is to keep his commandments. Let's get another one. I want you to think that Ecclesiastes chapter 12, Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So to fear God is to keep the law. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go back to the book of Joshua 24, verse 14. Now this is way back in the time of Joshua. Pay attention now to where I'm going. I'm going. Joshua 24, verse 14. Now, therefore, fear the Lord. What did it mean to fear the Lord? To keep the commandments. And serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods of your father served. Put away the gods which your father served, excuse me, on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye the Lord. What I want you to see. Now, therefore, fear the Lord, that's to keep the commandments, and serve him in sincerity and in truth. So when you kept the law, you serve God in sincerity and truth. When you kept the law, you serve God in truth. In truth. When you kept the law, you served God in truth. All right. Let's Let's do this. This is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 3 and 6. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercies, according as he, pay attention, according as he walked before thee in truth. In the truth now, and in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. I want to do this. Let's go back. I want, I want this. Let's get the book of Psalms 119. Psalms 119. Verse 7. I will praise thee with uprightness. I will praise thee with uprightness, see uprightness of heart, when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. When you learn the law, you're going to praise him with uprightness of heart. When you learn the law, you praise him with uprightness of heart. Right here is the proof. Psalms 119 verse 7, I will praise thee with uprightness of heart, when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. The judgments are the laws. So when he learns the laws, he's going to understand how to praise him in uprightness. So as we go back again, watch this now. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 3, verse 6. And Solomon says, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercies, according as he has walked before thee in truth, in truth now, and in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him this great kindness, that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as at this day. Now, this is Solomon. But what I want you to know, as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness, ah, uprightness was according to the law. So when you're worshiping or walking before God in truth, or serving him in truth, it is because you're keeping the law. Let 
Let's go to 1 Kings 8. 1 Kings 8, verse 61. Let your heart therefore be perfect with the Lord our God, to walk in his statutes and to keep his commandments as at this day. So when your heart is perfect, it's because you're keeping the law. When you got a perfect heart, you're keeping that law. All right, let's move it again. The book of 2 Kings, chapter 20 and 1. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah, son of Ramaz, said, uh, came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. God said, Get, it, get your house in order. Get your people together, because I'm going to take you. In the Bible, real brothers and sisters, got to love it. Let's jump on down to verse 2 now. Then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart. How did you have a perfect heart? Let's go back. We tell you, brothers and sisters, we don't play. 1 Kings 8, 61. Let your heart therefore be perfect with our God to walk in his statutes and to keep his commandments at this day. So when your heart was perfect, you were keeping the law. Let's go back. 2 Kings 20 and 3. The prayer of Hezekiah. I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth. In truth and with a perfect heart. Ah. When you had that perfect heart, you were keeping the law. And you were walking before him, which means serving him in truth. In truth. I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore because he wasn't ready to die. See, Lord, I have served you with a perfect heart in truth. Have I walked before thee? A perfect heart came from keeping the law. And as he kept the law, he was walking, which means serving him in truth. So, hold on. John chapter 4, verse 23. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Oh, when they worshiped in truth, it was by law. It didn't say in truth. Ain't no S on it. Ain't no S on truth. In truth, the same way King Hezekiah did it, the same way Solomon did it, David did it. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him must. No other way. You can't be keeping Easter, Christmas, Sunday, baby day, dog day, cat day, bird day, groundhog day, rock day, hug a tree day. None of that is worshiping God in truth. Let's read it again. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must, there's no other way to worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth by the law. There's no other truth. There is no other truth beside law. Now, in case you think we're ready to play with you, Romans 2 and 20, once again, this is for my people. An instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes, which has the form of knowledge and of the truth. Come on, baby. In the law. The truth is in the law, by the law, and through the law. If you're worshiping Christ in spirit and in truth, it is by law because we had the testimony of it. Brothers and sisters, you can't keep taking a uh, pastor's word for it. Stop. I know that pork chop, his breath smell like pork chops. You got to leave him there. When you're worshiping God in spirit and in truth, you're worshiping by law, as we proved with Scripture. 